Uh, our next speaker, of course, has been, uh, you know, she's a residential school survivor. She has been shouldering the burden of championing this cause for Orange Shirt Day. She's somebody that every single one of us hold in high regards. The amount of stress and the amount of trauma that she goes through on a daily basis to continue to fight for those who don't have a voice. Uh, I mean, I feel that. I feel that in my heart, and I feel that every single time I talk to her. Uh, it's only fitting that we invite Phyllis Webstad up to say a few words uh, and share her stories with us as well. Phyllis, uh, thank you. Phyllis Webstad runs Quest. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. My name is Phyllis. I'm from the Kenna Creek, Dog Creek First Nation. For the past 10 or so days, my heart has been racing. I even made a doctor's appointment for yesterday that I ended up canceling. But I think the spirits were talking to me that something was coming. And it's funny, now my heart isn't racing, you'd think it would be, but it's, it's calm. I'm calm right now. It's been a roller coaster ride for me the last 24 hours. I found out about the children in Kamloops at five o'clock yesterday. My son called me. He was watching it on the news. And I obsessed about it. And I couldn't sleep. I woke up this morning and I got a call from Minister Guibault's office. He's the um, Minister of Canadian Heritage to tell me that Bill C-5 was going to go through the House of Commons today to get third reading. And what Bill C-5 is, is to make September 30th a national statutory holiday. And it's uh, to implement TRC's recommendation number 80, which is to create a, a day of remembrance for survivors and their families and their communities. Because one day there will be no survivors. And I honor all of the survivors that are here today and their families. So Guxjamcha, thank you for, for having me today and um, thank you all for being here. If we could hold Phyllis up with a round of applause, I think. Uh, her up all day every day for the work that she does we were in a call earlier today some very good comments and dialogue around you know we've been prepared by our previous leadership by our elders by our ancestors to fight this fight today and Phyllis is fighting that fight for us and has been for a long time this awakening is going to change uh, the trajectory of Canada and it's going to change the trajectory of Williams Lake and Sequapulu. And I am very excited and proud to be a part of that movement. You know, although this is a massive tragedy, it's something that we need to celebrate too. 215 souls are going to be going home, and that's something that we can smile about and celebrate. And that's what our drums and our prayers are going to be about tonight.